relax and take notes. While I got tip, while I got tip, while I got tip, take tote. Relax and take notes. While I got tip, take tote. So the the marijuana smoke. Welcome back to the Audacity Podcast. I am the man on the street. Well, Carmella Anthony gave an interesting interview the other day to Complex Magazine, ladies and gentlemen, when they talked about ring culture. And this is what he had to say about the situation. No, it don't bother me because the game changed and the culture of the game changed. It was like in the 80s, 90s, when it was about ring culture. I think now it's the money. It's the bag. It's let me go get 200 million, and rightfully so. But the focus is not just rings no more. You know what I mean? You still want to win the championship, but it's like, I'm going to get the 60 million before I go get the ring. So I just think that the, the mindset has shifted tremendously when it comes to ring culture. Like, there's no way that guys who haven't won the ring shouldn't still get the credit that they deserve. Charles Barkley is who he is. You know, Reggie Miller is who he is. We are who we are. So because we didn't get to win the NBA championship, we shouldn't get credit. Like, we should just be dismissed on everything. So I will always kind of disagree with that. But as far as ring culture, I think people understand that not everybody can win it. And especially nowadays with teams doing everything they got to do. Man, Carmelo Anthony hit it right on the head. In the early 80s and the 90s, it was all about the ring. But now it's about the bag because these young men are getting paid tremendously and setting their family up for what? Generational wealth. But it's not just Carmelo Anthony who has something to say about ring culture. Gilbert Serena's had this to say about it as well. You remember your Cavs, the playoffs? So, 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 171. So if you made 120 million instead of 171 and you were able to get a ring, would you not trade that 120 versus 170 for the ring? I just want 50 to know. million for a ring? Fuck yeah. no. <laughs> no, I would. What you? I would. You're crazy as hell. I would. You crazy? I would. Motherfucker, hey. 120 million for a ring. You crazy as hell. Ain't personally? 50 million worth no goddamn I would. ring. <laughs> I would. They said that motherfucker right here, 10 grand. That's I hell would. no. You know Man, give us arenas like, give me the money. Keep the ring, I want the money. And you can't be mad at that. But you also got people like Steven Jackson who had this to say about the situation. Hey, what up, world? We out here in all the smoke in L.A. doing some epic shit, right? And I'm tired of seeing this shit on Instagram. It coming from basketball players, and that's why a lot of y'all losers. It's no way, if you ain't come from nothing, then you understand why people say they would rather 50 million and a championship. Cause I care about being the best at what at, at the gift God gave me. I, it would suck to play the game of basketball and never say you was the champion. You was never the best in the world. 50 million is enough for people who come from nothing. We know how to make that work. That 50 million is like 200 million to us. But it goes to show the people who struggled and the people who didn't struggle. Talking about, I'll take 100 million and fuck the championship. Nah, I'll take 50 million and that championship. But you're not a winner. You, you don't want to be the best. You just want to maintain them and, and, and just go along. Nah, that's the difference between a lot of the champions and y'all. Yeah, y'all made y'all money, but y'all wasn't the best at nothing. Man, Steven Jackson like, man, I want the ring and I could do without all that money. I, hey, I want to be known as a champion. But let me know what you think about this situation. The man on the street wants to know.